Welcome to the Pike Breakdown Lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other Pike 100 FM. The Pike. Yeah, we do it every Friday. Get your messages from the Pike Breakdown Lane and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Hey, fellas. Just wanted to let you know that there is another app that's already out there that assists the visually impaired. It's called Be My Eyes. And what it happens is um, a visually impaired person can call that number and immediately connects them with someone who is sighted and they can ask them questions like, you know, what color shirt is this? Hmm. So one of them called to ask about that she had cans of Hormel chili with and without beans. So she wanted me to read the cans to tell her which can was without and which one was with. Um, you know, things like that. It's a really good app, and I recommend it highly, and it's very helpful. A rock on, fellas. That's that's cool. So we were talking about the WPI math school kids making up an, an app that helps people in traffic cross, blah, p- visually impaired people cross the street in traffic. Uh, but she's saying this is, I'm looking it up here. So basically, they hit the app, and it'll call a volunteer... And you, they turn their phone so you can see whatever they're trying to see, and you can describe to them what you're seeing, like she just mentioned. That. That's cool. A video call. That's awesome. Yeah. That's very cool. I'll post that information if anyone's, uh, you know, visually impaired or wants to volunteer for that. I'll post it up on our uh, uh, X slash Twitter feed, at 100 FM The Pike. I never knew that was around. That's awesome. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, and then the, the uh, WPI students app, it sends out a signal that, detects a walk or don't walk signal and it comes back and alerts them to which one it is yeah. which is also very cool and these are high school students these are high school kids that right? are actually uh yeah that work with wpi did you say it was like eleven thousand people submitted apps just for, kids just 11, from massachusetts kids. just and for all oh, right and this is a national contest that's so, awesome yeah it's amazing all right right on yeah i got an event to plug it's called this oh, new england weather when is it going to get nights out it's never okay for us to just not be able to go outside, and it's just it, we're always hiding from the weather. You know, it's springtime, but it's still winter. I don't know why I'm always surprised. It's the same thing every year, God. Huh? That guy sounds like he's gonna snap. Wow. Thankfully, it'll be nice tomorrow and Sunday. Right, so. right. Well, he's had enough. <laughs> I get it. You know, you, you you think it's gonna be warm? I I don't know. Can someone help? Does someone know that guy? Can somebody help that guy? <laughs> Every person in Seattle and London sounds right. like that because right. they live under cloud right. cover and drizzle. Yeah. yeah, it could be worse, guy. All right, you could live in like Helsinki. All right. Good morning. This is your Worcester Coast Guard Auxiliary. Oh, your resource hey. for boating safety in Central Mass. Boating safety classes begin April twentieth in Holden, and we've made it so easy for you to register. Just go to Worcester Flotilla. Dot org and click the link. It's that simple, and we look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, that guy's called before. Yeah. He's plugged the uh, the boating safety stuff and the swimming stuff before. We'll also put that up uh, on our X slash Twitter feed if you're interested in that. Whenever he calls, I feel like I made a call and I'm getting the recording. It does sound like a, a, like a robo call, doesn't, doesn't it? it? <laughs> Your like- bill is overdue. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I think he does the voice for the EAS test, too. Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a test. Do you know where your children are? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where you're... I love how that's like making the rounds. That Do you remember that, those ads? Did you ever see those? It's that's 10 why o'clock. I just said it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's like making the rounds again. And like really? younger people are describing it and or no, are just getting into it saying, yeah, that's cool. 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? Like, yeah, they're they're on my couch <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> They're Nothing to worry dashing. about. They're, they're eating not, my food. Yeah, they're not setting anything on fire. <laughs> they're not stealing any mailboxes. You know, they're not spraying graffiti anywhere. Not they're that I the, did any of they're that. They're in the basement playing Fortnite. Right, exactly. They're just, they're on TikTok. <laughs> so I think I can see them right here. They're safe. Hey, Mike Shu, former Minnesota Governor <laughs> Jesse oh, the Body so. Ventura here. I heard you were giving away some wrestling tickets. With Tim Foley doing the lyrics to the songs. I'm not a huge fan of the songs you were doing. I didn't hear any Peter, Paul, and Mary or any Linda Ronstadt. We used to listen to her when I was a Navy SEAL. 
or maybe some David Soul. We used to listen to him on the the Ho Chi Minh Trail down there. Well, I I didn't know that uh, Jesse the Body was a Peter Paul and Mary fan or David Soul. Am, am I correct in assuming he's he's having a hard time getting SmackDown tickets? Sounds Jesse the way. Body. Sounds that way. Now that Vince McMahon is no longer there, he doesn't have a contact. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's like God looking for Neil Young tickets yeah. that couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right, Jesse, we'll work on that. Thanks for calling in for the Pike Breakdown Lane. We appreciate your messages. Remember, we'll never call you back. We'll never sell your information because we just don't know how. You can call the Pike Breakdown.